Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I thought I would film uh, what I eat in the day video. I track my macros and if you've not done this before I would definitely recommend either getting a professional to let you know what kind of macros you should be on um, to achieve your goals. And if you can't do this, maybe if you don't have the money to set aside for that at the moment, um, I'll link a video below by Christian Guzman. It's very helpful where he explains how to figure out what macros you should be on for your own goals. I have a really sensitive digestive system, so I don't eat any gluten and I'll have very little lactose. I'll only really have lactose if it's in like chocolate or very rarely a tiny bit of butter. Um, so you'll see that um, a lot of what you eat is very easy to digest and it just works for me and I'm not saying that it's better for health for everyone but it definitely helps me digest the food. And I just want to preface this by saying that I'm not a professional at all so this is just what I have done over the last few months to really achieve my fitness goals and at the moment I'm on a fat loss phase so it's just a very slow fat loss phase I'm not trying to rush anything it's just that I'm going on holidays in a few weeks so I just wanted to prepare for that and I'm also muscle building so I'm actually gaining weight at the moment but losing fat if anyone would be interested in what training I'm doing at the moment I can also do a video on that if you would like to let me know in the comments. So at the moment I am aiming to have about 1800 to 1900 calories per day and that's not going to be the same amount for everyone but that's just what's working for me at the moment and I try to have about 130 grams of protein. Again, Christian Guzman's video will really explain um, everything that you should probably be doing for yourself, uh, depending on your goals. Before I start, I would just like to let you know as well that I use the app MyFitnessPal. Um, there are a load of videos on YouTube uh, telling you how to use this, but I think it is just such an easy way to keep on track of what you're eating, especially if you have any fitness goals. Um, it just makes it so much easier. They have a huge database of food on it and there there are loads of videos online that will help you to use that and I just think uh, for me I like structure and kind of knowing what I'm doing so I can just put my meals in at the start of the day that I know that I'm going to have and then I can work my snacks around it using the app. So without further ado I'll get into my what I eat in a day. So it's really early so I'm going to whisper because my boyfriend and housemate are asleep but what I have before I go to the gym in the morning is a glass of water with one of these vitamin C tablets and just a banana for a bit of energy and I'll have breakfast then when I come back. So for my breakfast I'm going to start off with 30 grams of these Tesco free from cocoa snacks with lactose free milk. So I just have a coffee now with a tiny bit of milk and I'm going to have this gluten free bread with some Nutella. Normally I don't get this one because I don't like it that much but I get the Embrace one that you can get in Tesco. So I'm finished my breakfast now so I'm going to have a protein shake. I normally have the GNC uh, Complete Vegan Protein in Vanilla. Um, I just think it's less grainy than a lot of vegan proteins. And then I'd have a scoop of creatine with that. Um, I know some people have issues with this, but I've not had any problems. And I'd be pretty sensitive to lactose, and I haven't had any issues in that kind of regard either. But yeah, I just do one small scoop of this. So I've been working from home now for a couple of hours, so I thought I would just have a small little snack to kind of break up the morning. So for my morning snack, I like to have a Coke Zero or another uh, sugar-free fizzy drink. Um, I think it just fills you up a little bit and it's a nice little treat. And I have, so for my snack, then I have 125 grams of this Alpro Greek style yogurt. It's really high in protein and it's low calories, so that's a good one to have. And then I have about five grams of this milled linseed. It's really good for hair and nail growth. And then I have about 50 grams of frozen raspberries on the top. And it's good to just have uh, protein, uh, fat and carbs in your snack. I think it just fills you up nicely. So we've now reached one o'clock. So I'm going to make some lunch. And uh, normally I would have some meal prep done, but I was a bit too busy this week. So I'm going to make some pasta and chicken. 
and just a tip that I really enjoy eating pasta so I make that like a priority to make sure that I have it because if you're like depriving yourself from your favorite foods then it's just gonna seem like much more of a chore than it actually is so I would definitely try and make sure that you're getting your favorite foods in your diet and then just kind of build everything else around that so here we have my lunch it's a pretty simple lunch today because I forgot to meal prep but it's just 50 grams of this pasta from Tesco. Um, I have a bit of this sauce that I got in Lidl and this lactose free cheddar that I got in Super Value. And I definitely prefer lactose free cheese to vegan cheese. I just think it tastes completely normal and not like plasticky. So I would recommend trying this if you haven't already. Um, I also forgot to say that I have 150 grams of chicken in here. So now it's the middle of the afternoon, so I'm going to have a little snack. I'm going to have some Tesco salsa, which just, I have 30 grams of tortilla chips. Um, Yeah, so I find that I, I don't really see the need to be tracking salsa because like there's only eight calories in 25 grams and I'm not being that strict on myself at the moment. So um, I just I just don't see the need to track so yeah I, I will track the nachos however so i've now finished work and got changed but i think i'm gonna make some dinner what i like to do for dinners is i like to try make just a healthier version of something i already like like i'm not going to be excited for dinner if i'm making a salad so i like to make something just a little bit tastier and just a slightly healthier version of junk food basically so today i'm gonna try make a homemade four in one like one you would get it from a chinese takeaway so i'll let you know what i do for that here is my homemade four in one so i just have um about Whoa. i'll leave the room and then come so after a very rude interruption um this is about 30 grams of rice cooked and then I have um, 100 grams of potatoes and 150 grams of chicken and then I have a portion of this curry sauce that is gluten free that you can get in little and it's so delicious it tastes just like a takeaway highly recommend and then just a bit of water for the hydration and I use this salt because I absolutely love salt and I use way too much so I use the low sodium salt it also helps with bloating if you're holding on to water weight uh, reducing your sodium definitely helps with that so yeah I'm gonna talk into this now so I'm gonna head out for a couple of drinks with my friends um I don't want to restrict myself when I'm drinking so I will have like a nice drink for my first and second drink and then I think it's a good idea then to switch to like something a little less calorie like coke and or sorry diet coke and vodka because like I don't think you really notice what you're drinking after your first two drinks anyway so that's probably what I'll do so I'll just show you my outfit it's quite hard <laughs> I'm finding it hard to find an angle where I can show you the outfit properly but um the whole outfit is pretty little thing I'm gonna wear this top it's cut out um and you just tie it at the front and that's the back and it's cropped um oh i'm sorry uh the pants are actually not pretty little thing the pants are just these high-waisted pants they're pink from h and m i'll show you them properly um they're just a high-waisted pants i love them i definitely overwear them i wear them all the time and then this is a blazer it's from one one of um molly may's earlier collections with pretty little thing it's quite long i'm definitely gonna have to figure out a better place to take outfit videos um on like self camera self camera front facing camera um so yeah that is that so i thought i'd do a really quick pennies haul um for clothes that i got for going back to work because i'll be going back into the office soon so my work from home clothes just won't really cut it um, so I just got a couple of outfits and I'm going to show you. Um, first of all, I went with this green jumper. It's just high necked and it's full length as well. I just have it tucked in and it's really warm for like kind of the colder months. I probably won't be wearing it straight away because it's still kind of warm here. And I got these brown pants, which I think are a really good um, 
dupe for the Zara pants that everyone are wearing at the moment. Um, they're just that little bit cheaper. And they're definitely flattering, high-waisted, yeah. And again, for a reference, I'm size 8 or 10 sometimes in pennies, and I'm 5'6". Next up, I have this gorgeous white flowy dress. I think this is so pretty, and I kind of wish that I was able to go into work earlier on in the summer to wear this more often, because it's going to get cold soon, and... It's not going to be the warmest thing to wear, but I hope I get a bit of use out of it anyway. Next up, I have this nude pink bodysuit. Um, it's uh, high necked and the material I definitely just think is so comfortable. I love this. I probably won't wear this by itself with the pants. Um, it's just a little too casual by itself. Um, but anyway, summer is pretty much over, so I'll need a blazer anyway. And I really love these pants. They were labelled as the wrong size, so I got them for just seven euros. So I'm delighted with that one. And they have pockets. They are high waisted. I love the kind of paper bag detail at the top. And there's a belt, so definitely recommend. And I think the fit is just so flattering. And last but definitely not least is this gorgeous kind of fake suede jacket. I love this. This was only 35 euros, so I think it was an absolute steal. It is so cozy. It's so fashionable and trendy. I just think the fit is so nice. I am obsessed. Perfect for if you're going for work and then a few pints or something after. I just think it's perfect. Here's the back. And I would probably pair this with a larger handbag going to work because you know I just I bring a lot of crap with me wherever I go so I'll just show you an example of that. Now so here is kind of an idea of what I see myself looking like when I go into work. Um, I will link the handbag below as well I got that off an Instagram account. Um, but yeah so here is the full look. Um, I don't know if you can see the shoes but these shoes are from ASOS and I'll link those below as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, again let me know if there are any video suggestions you might have or if you have any questions please get on to me below. I've linked my Instagram and TikTok there as well and please comment, like and subscribe and let me know if you liked it. Bye!